While Sandra Lee is best known for being a celebrity chef and the much publicized partner of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, she's made headlines recently for her battle with breast cancer. We sat down in her New York apartment to hear her thoughts about life and beauty. This past spring, I went for my annual mammogram and the radiologist saw something in the film that she didn't see the year before uh, and wasn't on the other side. So I went in for a biopsy and they confirmed that I had breast cancer. I had a very um, clear reaction to that diagnosis and that was just get it out, get it out, get it out, right now, get it out. She says, well, we can't do it right now. I'm like, fine, can we do it Friday? <laughs> I want it out, I want it out now. I don't need boobs, it's fine, I'm good with that. So yeah, I was pretty clear. I was more self-conscious about the pivots, the, the pits that were in my chest and how sunken and hollowed out I looked in my face than I was about having a double mastectomy at 49. I do not care about the boobs, but I don't want to look like a hollowed out mess after the drugs and the weight loss. I have a particular friend, um, Rose Marie Ingleton, who's a doctor, and I spent a lot of time talking to her. Um, she uh, is a dermatologist, but obviously a very, very close friend of mine. When I went through my breast cancer, uh, she was in the hospital with me, but she also came to my house in a huge storm when I looked completely emaciated because I had lost 20 pounds in less than, I think, two weeks, and I lose weight in my face first. She came on a Sunday, opened up her bag in my house, and laid everything out from Restylane injectables, Botox, um, Sculptra. And by the time she left my house, she said, I looked exactly like me again. I didn't look like I had just gone through a huge bout with weight loss. You know, I grew up watching TV in the 70s, so I was really kind of taken back by Samantha Stevens of Bewitched, Elizabeth Montgomery. I always thought that she was just the most beautiful television personality in the world and I loved how beautiful she was on the inside and how good she was. Such a good person. If I don't get enough sleep and drink enough water or keep my appointments with Rose, I can look extremely um, haggard and harried and I, I can't look like that. I don't want to feel that way. Water and sleep, night and day, make a huge difference in how I look and how I feel. I'm very happy in sweats and flip-flops, which everybody in the fashion business would go, oh, but I love it. I just love sw comfy sweats, big fuzzy socks or flip-flops, you know, and laying around, snuggled up. I feel most like myself when I'm either at home with my sweetheart and our girls, or I'm with my girl gang, um, which is about a, it's a collection of about nine girls and we all stick together. I think the biggest problem that women face with beauty ideals is their concern about what other people think. It doesn't matter what other people think. It matters what you think. It matters what you're comfortable with and what you feel confident with and what you want to do. I am very happy being completely scrubbed, hair in a ponytail, no makeup, nothing. Um, but. I think if you're trying to live up to other people's expectation and you're not being true to yourself and who you are, you're never going to be happy. So that's the first thing you have to learn. Whether you're 15 and, and picking up new beauty for the first time or you're 95 because you're going to be the same person your whole life and what you have first and foremost is you. If you don't love yourself first, no one else is going to be able to love you. And that is the number one thing to remember. And the minute you're done and you have yourself handled, it's your family and your friends, your community, then your state, then your country, and then the world. So you got to push it out. Do as much as you can for as long as you can, for as many people as you can, and be happy with who you are. <laughs>